before forcing you to take it. They're going to convince you through convenience to receive that micro C help. First and foremost, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash, double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the 144,000 elect men of the nation of Israel, teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, the different avenues the so-called white man Esau Edom is going to take to present that micro seed here to the people. And one of those ways is going to be through convenience. You know, this guy trying to convince you that it's going to be a convenience to you if you receive this technology in your right hand or in your forehead. You see, and it's just a quick article from News18.com. It says, Elon Musk nearly prepares for second human trial. Aims superpower capabilities, you see? So now this guy promising you you know, superpowers, man, on top of healing you from being paralyzed or, you know, mental illnesses. You see, and it's just the different tactics, the different wordplay this guy's going to use to convince people that receiving this chip is, is a harmless thing. But, yeah, it's going to be for your destruction, man, especially if you're a so-called black, Latina, Native American Indian, which you make up the biblical Israelites. And it's really going to be aimed towards you taking it. You see? And this guy's going to try to snare you, man. You know, things like, you know, you ever made payments with your mind or even played chess with your mind? What about typing with your eyes? You know, what if I told you that we created a little device that's going to go on your right hand or in your forehead that's going to open you up to a world without limit? <laughs> you know, it's like even like to come, man. You ever left your wallet at home and made it all the way to the grocery store? Or got pulled over by the cops and didn't have your license or registration with you? You ever got to the doctor and didn't know what was going on? What if I told you that we have a little device that you, you just simply, through a simple clinical surgery, we uh, put it in your brain or in your forehead, and it's going to open you up to a world without limit. You go to the grocery store, you can make payments, you get pulled over, you get scanned, and all your information come up. Or even you go to the doctor. You know, with this chip, they scan the chip, they, they get your heart rate, they can tell if viruses is growing in your body, they can detect cancers. You know how Esau even like to come, man, but it's going to be through convenience that's going to snap these people into thinking that receiving that technology is going to be a, uh, you know, a convenience to them in their life, man. It's going to help with different assets in their life, you know, with their medical issues. Jake can't keep up with shit, but yet if I get this chip, you just scan my birth certificate, my social security, you know, my checking account, everything is going to pop up. Yeah, Esau even going to snap you niggas through convenience, man, you see real quick. It's second uh Corinthians chapter two and verse eleven. It said, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, you see, we know the different avenues that Esau Edom is gonna take to pretty much convince people into taking that seed help, man. We're not ignorant of his devices because ultimately we was warned through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai, through the apostles and elder bishops who the Lord has set up to give us the warning on what the mark of the beast is, man. The different avenues that Esau Edom is going to take to present it, man. You see? Yeah, let's say he should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. And us not being ignorant, we come out and warn you. But yet, as the scriptures say, people are willingly ignorant, man. You know, you got even Israelites. You know, the, the, the understanding of what the mark of the beast is is out there. But yet, these niggas still going off, man. Coming up with their own... Ideology of what the mark of the beast is. Niggas saying it's sin, but yet you got homosexuals out here buying land in grocery stores, buying shit. You know, and they and they sinners, man. So sin can't be the mark of the beast. You see? But yet you not knowing or not even concerned with what it is you're gonna be taking, man. You see, real quick, uh Matthew 24 and verse. Uh, 24, it says, for there shall arise false Hamashiachs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. Yeah, and with that chip, Esau Eden is going to show great signs and wonders. Imagine, you know, a nigga that had been in a car accident. He paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, you a gang banger. You been shot and now you paralyzed and you catch wind that it's a device out there that'll open you up to using your limbs again. Well, you going to go down there and take it, man. You see, because of the signs and the ones that were shown through people receiving it. You see, as a matter of fact, when you read this first little paragraph, it says, Salaki, these damn 
ads and shit popping up. It says earlier in January, Neuralink successfully transplanted the device into the brain of a man who was paralyzed from the shoulders down in a diving accident. Yeah, and he was able to walk again, but just I believe two months later after he received that C hip, they had to uh take it out, man, because it was malfunctioning. They ain't telling you that part. And that's gonna be uh the results of a lot of people that's gonna trust in this devil and receiving his technology. It's gonna it's gonna malfunction, man. You see? A lot of people gonna be getting sick and dropping dead, and then people gonna realize that they was tricked, man. You know, they was turned into slaves. You see? But that's what you get for trusting the devil, man. That's what you get for not taking the words of your how about Shemal Shah or his prophet seriously. You see? So it says, and so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect in which the elect is not going to be deceived because we was pretty much hip to saints devices, man. Let saints should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We was warned and we took heed to the warning. You see? We believed in, you know, in the report that this guy was going to come with a device and try to insert it in you for you to continue in this system, man. But yet you got people out there that don't believe. As a matter of fact, this Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse, uh, verse 9, it says, Even him who is coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. You see? Yeah, you didn't want to receive the counsel of your how by Shema Washah that ultimately brings forth salvation that preserves you from this devil. You didn't want to receive that. So that's ultimately going to lead you into depending on that nigga, man. You're going to have to depend on Esau Edom. And as the scriptures say, whosoever lean on that broken reed, it's going to pierce them through, man. You also going to be forced into or even tricked into taking that sea hill, man. Because you trust in him and you despise the words of the Lord. Yeah, verse 11, it says, And for this cause, the most I should send them strong delusions. You thinking that that chip of convenience to you. You know, you just think it's just the next evolution of life. The next evolution of payments. You know, AI and human can uh, join together. You see, it says, and for this cause, the most I should send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. You think this nigga got your best interest in life, man. But yeah, he's out to destroy you. And that device shows it, man. Because that's prophecy unfolding, you see. And just like Revelations, the 14 chapter tell you that if you take it, you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, it says, verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. You didn't want to believe that's the mark of the beast. Well, the Lord said that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness, man. And you're going to be fucked up out here, man. That thing get presented and you didn't believe that that was the mark of the beast. What's going to keep you from taking it? You see? And Esau Eden, he's going to play on the flesh, man. He's going to play on things that you hold uh, vital to your, your survival. You know, things that you hold dear into your heart. He's going to play with those things to ultimately get you to go down there and take it. And without the spirit of your how about Shema you ain't going to be kept in an hour of temptation. Without you believing in the testimony of our Lord, your how having faith in the Lord, waiting on the Lord. You're not going to be protected. You're going to be forced to go down there and take it, man. You see, Revelation 13 and verse 16, it says, And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and the way he's going to cause you first is going to be through him convincing you and then secondly it's going to be mandated and then he's going to force you to take it and then he's going to come down with great ralph saying that if you don't take this 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 seal i'm gonna cut your head off man yeah he's going to put people in concentration camps people are going to be tormented for not wanting to receive that sea help man you see and and from that people's going to be in fear and they're going to take it out of fear, man. Not want to go to prison, you know. Not want to get thrown to war. You see? Not want to get beheaded. People is going to take that seed help, man. You know, because he's going to mandate it. You know, it says to receive it, Mark. Yeah, because if you receive that, Mark, it's going to make you a perpetual slave, man. You see, real quick, you go into that word, Mark. Strong's G5480, Karagma. Just to jump down to the strongest definition, it says stamp 
as a badge of servitude, you see? It's going to be a badge of servitude. This nigga going to be able to read your thoughts, you know, and that's not far-fetched. As a matter of fact, you go down in the article. It says here, Salaki, ass popping up. Yeah, it says here, it says Neuralink has developed an AI-powered microchip capable of recording and interpreting brain activity. Remarkably, this chip is designed to help individuals overcome mental disabilities. Yeah, and that's a part of those uh, wonders, you know, those powerful works. You know, people got uh, disability problems, you know, as far as you being paralyzed. You know, you take that seat help, you'll be able to walk again and things like that. That's going to be enough to convince somebody to go down there and take it just so they can go to the club and twerk again, you know, go on a walk. But it says the company asserts that the chip can even read your thoughts, man. Yeah, you see, be thinking the wrong shit, man. You saw Edom catch wind of it and he cut your chip off, man, or send nanobots through your body. You fall severely sick or just drop dead, man. You see, things like this is going to start happening in this society. You know, these rebels, these going to be forced, these rebels going to be forced to take it, but still have that rebel mindset. You saw even going to catch wind of their thoughts. And he going to kill them, man. You know, cut the chip off or make it malfunction, send radiation through their body. You see, then you going to realize that you was made a slave, man, a perpetual uh, American. You see? But yeah, the, uh, a badge of servitude, man. That's what that mark go into, and that's what Esau Edom. That's his intents and purposes, man, to make you a perpetual slave. You see, uh, verse seventeen it says, "And that no man may buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the name of the beast, or the number of his name." You see, so without that sea hill, you ain't gonna be able to participate in this society because the society is gonna wrap around you uh, having to have it, man. You know, you ain't going to be able to make payments without it. You see, the doctor ain't going to want no goddamn birth certificate or your social security card or your, uh, your blue cost, blue shield card. <laughs> no, he going to want to scan you, man. And if you can't get scanned then you can't get service, you see. But this is where life is gradually making its way towards the MOTB, man. You see, and if you receive it, you're going to be destroyed. Revelations, the 14th chapter. Real quick, Revelation 14 and verse 9. It says, And a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and receive, it's like in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand, the same shall drink of the wine or the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, which is going to come by way of ICBM missiles. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. Yeah, so you get that thing if you want to, man. You're going to partake in thermonuclear fire once it come here to this society. You see, but yeah, I can my pray that you was edified, giving all underglory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Lord, when in this video, Shalom, and don't take the chip, man. Stay away from it. Shalom.